Right from the beginning, it was a real battle to get her to survive. Like the odds were against her with being so tiny, being so sunburnt. She was found on the footpath in the middle of summer, I think it was like a 38 degree day. When I first saw her, I thought, oh my gosh, she was just the tiniest little thing. She was about 85 grams. She was just like a belly on legs because her legs were just so skinny and little toothpicks. So nice. She wasn't overly fluffy, so you could see how red her skin was on her belly, especially in her legs and her paws. So I went through the vet check and they're like, yeah, that's sunburn. Just every minute of every day was just, please survive, please survive. I was going in the room every hour to give her fluids and to keep her hydrated. And you just never knew what I'd see each time. But she had such an amazingly resilient spirit. From the beginning, she just accepted the bottle straight away. She was purring straight away. Despite being as sick as what she was, she never gave up. You know, she'd just go, oh, OK, yeah, OK, I can do this. Kittens are used to cuddling in with their siblings and their mum. So I try to simulate being a mum cat as much as a human can with toothbrushes to groom to try and emulate the mum's tongue. And she was just a dream. Once she hit about that three, four week mark, she started to sort of really come out of her shell a bit more and start showing her cheeky little personality and doing all those fun little kitten things. Start to interact with toys. Like there's toilet paper rolls that she still has a thing for <laughs> that she likes to bite, play and wrestle with. Starlight loves everyone. What's she doing, Starlight? She's an inquisitive little thing, so she'd go straight up and put her nose up to everyone and like say, hi, hi, how are you going? She's quite yeah, happy to play and give a cuddle with everyone. You make her friends with Marvin. We have six cats of our own, so we weren't planning on adding another fur kid into the family, but everything we've been through with her, it would have been hard to give her up to somebody else. My husband and I had a chat and we've decided to adopt her ourselves. Would you like me to try and find her? She's five months old. We're really happy to add her to our family and all our other resident kitties get along with her great. Our youngest foster fail before Starlight Hope and she was grooming her last night so that was really sweet. It's the way it's worked out, she is meant to be ours. I pinch myself today, you know, looking back on the videos of how sick she really was. She's such a character, such a survivor, absolutely the amazing little girl. <laughs> Can you jump? You got yourself up there, Donnie. Like, comment, and subscribe.